Hey all, it's Sal. Now if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. We are growing every single day and I would love to have you as a subscriber to my channel. Everything that I'm going to be talking about in this video is included in my book, From Pre-Med to Med Student. It's a comprehensive guide on applying to and getting accepted into United States Medical School. So please check it out on Amazon.com. And without further ado, let's get started with the video. So today I'll be talking about cumulative GPA versus science and non-science GPA and how do they really factor in when you're applying to medical school. Now, as you all probably know, your cumulative GPA is composed of every single course that you've taken throughout your undergrad and they basically tally it up and you get one GPA that's comprised of your non-science, science GPA and any other coursework that you've completed. Your science GPA is composed of science courses, so things like chemistry, physics, biology, etc. Some schools will even take courses like biostatistics and consider it as a science GPA. Now, there's also your non-science GPA. Your non-science GPA is basically coursework that is not considered science. So like your English courses, um, your literature courses, uh, the courses that are basically part of your cumulative GPA, but they wouldn't be considered as science courses, so they're not considered in your science GPA. Now, what does a medical school committee, admissions committee, focus on when they're looking at your GPA? Do they look at that breakdown? And yes, they certainly do. If your cumulative GPA is really high, and then they kind of dig in deeper and they notice that your science GPA is rather low, but everything that's propping up your GPA is your nine science coursework, that might not reflect so well on you because as you know, medicine is a very science heavy discipline. And so you want to make sure that you have a really solid understanding of the basic sciences and every admissions committee is going to look for that on your application. Now where it's really going to affect you negatively is if you have a large gap between your science GPA and your non-science GPA. That's when it looks poorly on your application because basically it's saying that you don't have a good balance when it comes to taking coursework and you basically have a niche that you're good at. So you really want to get a balanced GPA throughout whether it's science or non-science. Now one C or one B minus is not going to basically reject you from medical school. It's certainly not going to look good on your application, but if you have a good explanation for it and you can kind of tie it into your story about how you learned about challenges through that, um, then that's always a great thing to have in the back of your belt. But certainly it's not going to deter you from a medical school acceptance because you have one C. Now on the flip side, if you have multiple C's and multiple B minuses in your GPA, GPA is kind of your science GPA especially is lower um, then that will deter you from a medical school interview because they want to see a good balanced GPA whether it's science or non-science. Remember, the good thing is that you want to have a strong cumulative GPA, a strong MCAT score, and then just a holistic application where your extracurriculars and leadership skills are all shown and presented on paper. Finally, I recommend this to students a lot. You want to check the school that you're applying to and make sure you're within their range for their science and non-science GPA. You can do this by getting an MSAR subscription, and I highly recommend this in my book, From Pre-Med to Med Student, um, but if you get an MSAR subscription, you can go into each of the schools and see a breakdown of the GPA as well as the bell curves and where you would fall in potentially as an applicant. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and as always, please hit that subscribe button. We are growing every day. I would love to have you as a subscriber on my channel and everything that I spoke about in this video is included in my book from pre-med to med student. You can find it on amazon.com and I will see you in the next video.